Before I tell you this story, I want to tell you a bit about myself. I'm your average wannabe developer, constantly building in a studio, trying to learn Lua, and constantly fantasizing about my super popular, super successful game and all my fans. I'm also a bit of a myth fanatic. I've never believed in the occult, nor have I believed in any conspiracy theories within a children's MMO, but I love the idea of all these creepy stories. John and Jane Doe, Jerry, Melvin, and so on and so forth. Nowadays though, I stay away from all that. I don't know whether this is a prank or some serious fishy business, but it's given me my fill of creepiness. Alright, here's what happened. I logged on to Roblox sometime in December to play some games, build some models, and chat with my friends. Seeing that one of my good friends was online, I opened my chat and invited her to a party. She then told me that she had to leave to do some shopping. Per the usual, she was always busy. Shortly after that, I got a notification from a user called 4NN1, Leet speak for Annie. I gathered it was fairly innocent, with the misspellings and grammar of your average young girl, complete with one too many smileys. It read as follows. Hi, I saw your place and I think you are very good at building. I think we should be friends. We can hang out in my place. It will become famous one day if you help me. Honestly, I would have ignored it under normal circumstances. This girl's probably 10 years old at most, trying to become popular and have a lot of cool friends. However, I had been invited to this party despite never seeing this user before. I've sent my chat privileges to friends only, and she's not on my friends list. I double checked all of these multiple times. No. My followers weren't allowed to chat with me, and no, users I follow weren't allowed to chat with me. E even if they could, she wasn't following me. I wasn't following her. Of course, it, it could easily be a glitch. After all, I do remember sending random party requests to users I didn't know, just for kicks. I chatted back at her. Thanks for the compliments, but who is this? Are you one of Dolores' little friends? A few seconds passed and she replied, I do not know Dolores, sorry, but please come to my place. So it wasn't some playmate of my sister's. I decided to leave it at that and go play some different games. Only a few minutes later, Annie messaged me again. I said come to my place. I ignored it, continuing to play games. I didn't need to get involved with some first grader, needy for attention. I don't really like kids and I prefer to play by myself. Youth hating introvert master race. She continued to message me. I stopped reading them pretty quickly, but she kept messaging me. The constant string of notification beeps grew irritating, so I muted my browser. Eventually, I left my game. Annie had stopped messaging me, and I closed my chat window. Mistake. She picked up her pace right away, and despite closing the chat box, it kept popping up again. A Roblox feature that, time and time again, has frustrated me to no end. In the end, I decided that I'd join her game, even if only to make her shut up. That may have also been a mistake. I joined the game, which was simply titled, Annie's Place. The description was the default as well. The place itself was the generic starter place, with everything colored a bright shade of pink, with free models of flowers, cats, and dogs. Annie was already in the game, waiting for my arrival. Upon seeing me, she typed several messages, overly excited that I was in her game. OMG! 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 OGM! OMG! OGM! OMG! Welcome! That was pretty much all there was. She told me a bit about how much she liked the cookies, and how much she liked the cats. After about 10 minutes, she informed me that her mother had told her it was time for bed. She then said her goodbyes and left the game. I followed suit. Only being the evening for me, I opened up Roblox Studio and worked on various models before eventually turning in early. Annie didn't message me for the rest of the week, allowing me some precious time to forget about her. In fact, when she messaged me again, it took me a little while to realize it was her. Annie asked me to come play with her again. I gladly obliged, knowing that I'd avoid major annoyances. However, her message bothered me. She had been replacing her usual smileys with frownies, 
and even her avatar's face didn't look too good either. However, other than those two rather jarring things, she kept her upbeat attitude. It wasn't any of my business, so I didn't ask. Probably upset over some rude kid at school or something. Annie simply chatted at me while I was in her place. I was multitasking, playing phone games and not really paying attention to Annie. However, I put my phone down when she started asking some rather disturbing questions. Do you ever want to touch the rusty nails? Have you ever eaten a raw dog? Where do you live? I patiently told her to stop asking these questions as they made me uncomfortable. She didn't. She just kept asking the same questions, telling me that I couldn't leave until I answered them. At this point I had enough and left the game. I blocked Danny and didn't hear from her again. That's what was supposed to happen. Only two days later, she sent me several angry and upset messages with the disturbing questions from before mixed in. She wanted me to come back to her game because I had cheated by not answering her questions. She tried everything from guilt tripping to insulting me and even serious claims of how she had only so many days left to live. I continued to ignore it, muting my browser and playing a different game. I joined a game of death run to pass the time, but was instead redirected to Annie's place. Instead of the lovely island lobby of Death Run, I was in the all too familiar ugly pink cabin. Annie wasn't happy to see me despite getting her way. She asked me why I hated her, why I kept leaving, and why I was so mean. I politely told her to calm down. She did, but continued to stay somber and upset. After that, I really hoped that I'd never have to see her again. But of course, I was dragged into playing with this maniac of a girl again. Her avatar's appearance had changed again. There was a streak of red across her face, and the dogs in her yard had disappeared. This time, Annie didn't yell at me or ask any disturbing questions. She chatted with me about the things she liked again, but without her usual pep. After a while, Annie rather just suddenly said this. It's hot in here. She left the game immediately after. Her pink house set ablaze, and the sky grew dark. My morbid curiosity led me into the burning house. Inside was a dark, burning figure with a grotesque smile. I left the game and logged off of Roblox. I felt sick to my stomach. If this was a prank by some exploiter, it was a downright disgusting one. I stayed off of Roblox for a few weeks, and when I came back, I was somewhat relieved to see that she hadn't contacted me. I never saw her again. Alright, and uh, to make that story a little bit creepier, I have this bi a short biography of Annie. So here it goes. Annie was presumably born on February 18th, 2006, and was 10 years old. She had an abusive relationship with her mother. She would always hurt Annie if she made a mistake. Annie once accidentally broke a plate, and as a punishment, her mother killed and fed Annie her dog. When Annie found out, she unsuccessfully tried to kill her mother. After her attempt, her mother locked Annie inside of their house and burned it, killing Annie. This gallery lists most of the decals from Annie's inventory. These decals explain Annie's backstory. Here's the first picture, created March 2nd, 2019 with the description, February 18, 2016, presumably the day Annie got her dog. Second image, created March 3rd, 2019 with the description, I'm sorry, mommy. It was an accident. And a third image, created March 3rd, 2019 with the description, from the shed. Fourth image, created March 14, 2019 with the description, the tool. Fifth image, created March 20th, 2019 with the description, I didn't know what it was at the time. Sixth image, created March 31st, 2019 with the description, I thought evil thoughts. Uh, seventh image, created April 7th, 2019, with a description, I wanted to fight. Eighth image, created April 10th, 2019, with no description. Ninth image, created April 11th, 2019, with a description, a child cannot do anything. And our last image, created April 12th, 2019, with a description, cease your begging and whining, child. The punishment fits the crime you know if you've done. 
So that's the story of Annie, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And peace. See ya.